Hey guys, today we're going to paint a 2.5 square bill and we are going to use a lot of paint. Stick with me. All right, here we go with our 2.5 square bill. Createx will pick white for the base, as always. Put that white base on so you get a good color. You want all those colors to come out looking right. All right, let me clean up the gun and we'll move on. All right, base is done. Now it's time, let's get a little crazy, huh? Walmart, Apple brand, Apple Barrel brand, cool blue. I've always liked this real light blue they have. In this case, we're just going to do the head. Come right over the middle. And on this side, if we get back a little past the gill plate, it isn't going to really hurt. Do that bottom side too. There we go. Just give them a blue head. I'll better get a little bit more right there. All right, there we go. All right, like that. All right, let me dry that. We're going to move on. We're going to dry after each one of these. All right, we have our blue on the head. Tell you what, next we're going to go with, so I'm staying Walmart all the way around to start with here. This is called King's Gold. Let's take this and uh, let's see. Let's go right down the back. We're going to go right down the back. You can see I have this all planned out well ahead, don't I? There's a stripe of King's Gold right down the back. That's good. We're going to stop right there. Next color up. Spiced Berry. I don't know. Got some of that mixed up as all these are Walmart. We've got to add water to all of them. That looks interesting. All right, where are we going to put? Let's go. Uh, let's go right behind the blue here. Let's just go. I like that. We'll kind of let it go around the belly a little too. All right, there we go. A bit more there. Let me make sure I got a good, good coat of paint on. All right, that's good. Now let me dry that, clean everything up. We'll move on to the next color. Okay, we're moving on. Let's see, one, two, three. Color number four. This will be color number four. This one is called Wild Iris. And it looks purple to me, but it's called Wild Iris, huh? We're just gonna go to the back side here. Well, I kinda like that. Go all the way around. Let's cover that yellow on the back back there, that gold. Now we've got a different color tail, huh? There we go. I kind of lost that first one in the second one, didn't I? They're pretty close to being the same, aren't they? Maybe we can do something about that one yet. We'll see. Otherwise, we'll just let us let her go. We're gonna let her go and move on. We got our four colors underneath. Now we're gonna put a wrap. So we need a really good dry before we put the wrap on. So that's what I'll do now. All right, I have paint dry and I have a wrap on. I've decided to go with this tools wrap you can pick up at Hobby Lobby. In this case, I've doubled it over. So I'm shooting through two. Now the old rule, you want the colors to show up properly later and the ones on top to be right. We need to paint it white. So now we're going back. And we're going to paint it white over again. All right, good overall coat of white. Clean out the gun. And we'll step on to the next step. All right, now we're ready to start painting what we want it to look like at the end. And to be honest with you, I hadn't really totally decided. I had a pretty good idea, but then I didn't know if I was going to change my mind. But we're going to go with the bluegill pattern. So we're going to start out with the belly. We're going to go to Createx now. Createx Transparent Bright Yellow. 
So we'll put a bright yellow and we're going right down the belly. Just back and forth across that belly. Get a good coating on it. A little harder to work with. You got to work around your wrap. Get up the side there a little bit. All right, that's good. That's going to do me on the belly. Let me rinse this out real quick and we'll go on. Okay, got a quick rinse out. Now we're going to move on to Createx Transparent Orange. Take a little shot of orange. We're just going to go on the belly, but we're going to stay probably from where your hook eye is forward. Not the whole belly, just the forward portion of it. We're going to call that good. All right. Now, let me get cleaned up because we've got to move on to the top. We're going to go back to Walmart colors. Now we need to start down the back for the bluegill pattern. We're going to go back to Walmart. I've liked, and all the bluegill patterns I've used, I liked using the Walmart palm leaf for the lighter undercoat and then the English ivy green above that. So that's the two colors I've liked. I'll show you. We're going to do it a little different than the way I have done it in the past. But we're going to start out with the palm leaf. We're just going to put a good coat across the top. Let it fade down across the sides into the yellow and the orange. There we go. All right, we got that. Now, let me get switched around here and we'll get ready to use the English Ivy Green. Okay, dug out the helping hands to help with this portion. Here's our English Ivy Green. As I said, mixed it up, got it thinned down a little. We're going to hold that right in here. We're going to take our comb and we're going to hold it up so I make sure I don't get anything down here on the orange and the green. So it's going to go right across the side like that. And then we're going to turn him over. Again, cover up that orange with the heavy part of the comb. I don't want to get any down there. All right. Let's do a little more with that. All right, that'll work. And now, I'm going to stand him up. I'm going to go right down the back. I'm going to darken the back down some more. I think that should do that. Now, we've got a couple more steps to want to take here. All right, for the last couple steps, we're going to come back with Createx Pearlized Magenta. We don't want to get too close here. We don't want a lot on here. Gonna do this from a distance and keep it moving. We just want to add the, the pearlized effect, but we don't want to get too carried away magenta color. All right, that's not bad there. All right, we're going to stop for a second. Let me take that out real quick. And we're going to come back with some pearlized copper. All right, as I said, pearlized copper. And again, stay away from it. Don't get too close. You just want to add a hint to it. There we go. Well, I thought I was done, but you know what? I got one more color. Okay, right down the middle of the back, I think we need some pearlized black. So let's put a little pearl black right down the very back. A little extra up by the face, maybe. There. We're going to call that good. Anybody remember how many colors that was? I think four colors underneath. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think that's eleven colors. All right, let's dry it really good. Pull the wrap. <laughs> let's see what we have. Well, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see what we ended up with. I think this will be a little wild color to all the under colors show through like I'm hoping they will. Get a hold of this. There we go. 
Yeah, I kind of like that. We kind of got a little of the purple in there. The iris probably came through the best. The yellow comes through on the top. I might be a little disappointed in the head. The blue didn't come through quite as well as I thought I'd get. But you know, once we put the eyes in the top coat, I think some of those under colors might pop through just a little bit better. All right, let's see what happens when we get a top coat and eyes. We'll come back and take a look, see what we got. Well, there you go, guys. And as you can see, that top coat really does make those colors pop. And you know what? It will catch fish. There we go. One more. All right, not a very big one, but hey. There we go. Get a grip on that, get a grip on the fish. That ends off, there we go. Not real big, but guys, this is what I call the wild bluegill pattern. You'll see that painted on maybe about a week from Sunday, I think. Next Sunday or two, you'll see that being painted.